Speaking of being a team of a fan, though, mm-hmm. let's give a lot of credit to PSG talent. Mm-hmm. And, and and we we like to sing happy trails to teams that have been eliminated from Worlds. I'd like to give the happiest of trails to PSG talent because they provided us with the storyline of play-ins, the Cinderella team. Yes, of course, they were they seem to always be destined to not be able to get out of groups. But I thought it was so appropriate. They had, they had a lot of great moments today. They did get an impressive victory, first of all, right? So that yeah. it was nice. It was nice that they got that win. It was fitting that they were able to get that win Two against wins. JD Gaming. Yeah. yeah. And against Rogue as well. And they also took Damwon's mid lane turret, which yeah. gave me a lot of uh, Cloud9 spring split flashbacks. Oh, because remember back, how it was like. Do not bring up Cloud9 on the show. <laughs> Do not open that wound. Do not pour uh... salt on that wound. I'm still trying. To, I'm not trying to think of what Cloud9 could have done this meta. <laughs> This meta was so no, perfect. Dabber, oh, no, Dabber, Dabber's on his way. Dabber's on his way. <laughs> but no, but like, oh, don't, no, don't get me started so, on how but, on C9 in this meta. But no, go on PSG. PSG. Fair enough. But 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 I, I just want to give them some love because this was mm. an incredible run. They yeah. got two wins. And even though they were in elimination situations, mm. this was good for them and the morale of the, mm. uh, and the PCS really gets an upgrade here. And so does PSG based on everything they went through at Worlds. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I, the PCS can be proud of. Uh, the LMS, the last few years before the LMS dissolved into the PCS, it was almost customary that at least one or two of those teams would go in six. They were the butt of the joke. They were the team that you just kind of circled on the schedule and you celebrated if you got drawn in the group. I remember going to ma- various group draws where all I did was just hope that a LMS team, not named Flash Wolves, would be drawn into a group with one of the NA teams because I felt like if you got – you do a Hong Kong attitude or a mad team that you were almost guaranteed at least two wins. Cause they, they were the team that always tried really hard, but they played slow. Uh, they weren't really scary. They didn't have a bite to them and they, they relatively were, they didn't have the superstar players that you could be, you know, frightened of outside of, you know, a Fofo of J team or a flash wolf team of old of Maple and sword art. So very honorable appearance, not by just PSG, but Machi as well. Machi played uh, all of the teams. Sooning, Team Liquid beat Team Liquid. That's going to haunt Team Liquid, as we said yesterday, for a long time. And they played G2 very closely. And same thing with PSG Talon, where uh, JD Gaming drafted a very cocky comp that they said, we are good enough to scale until our KL heat online. And PSG said, no, we're not going to let you do that. We might be PSG. We might be from the PCS. Uh, you might not respect us as one of the top, you know, eight teams or even top 12 teams at Worlds, but if you pick a comp like this, we can wreck you early, and that's what they did. And uh, not just – and I think a lot of us, and I mean, including us, we were sad that, you know, the super PSG team of Uniboy and Conway couldn't play at the main event, and it, it felt bad that River and Tank, the two starters, came in, and it was an awkward situation. But I think finally – we saw the true PSG today, and I think for River and Tank, it's an awesome feeling. It's 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 it just it, it's it's relief and it's it's happiness. And even though they're not making to the top eight, I think PCS for their first World Championship, I think they can hold their head high. Uh, they got they breezed through the playing stage in first place in their group. Uh, had a lot of you know uh, memorable victories, and their two teams both didn't go winless. And Machi took a Big game off Team Liquid would stop them from qualifying into the top eight. And PSG beat JD Gaming, who the you know, one of the best teams in China. So it, for the first year of PCS, this is an amazing accomplishment because for the last few years, the LMS has kind of just been this team where they send maybe one decent team and two god awful sides that are 0 6. So great performance by by uh by PSG. And it's an honorable death. It's an honorable death. To go down like this, uh, we compare that to Rogue, who had one good game and then five kind of uh, uh, questionable ones. Mm-hmm. And I think they're going to come go back to Europe trying to rethink uh, what went wrong. And even though they were in the group of death, they could have played a lot better. I think PSG goes home and they say, "Yeah, we got outscared. We were we were outgunned, but we weren't out attempted. They no, they were, in terms of effort, they weren't beaten. Uh, no team outworked PSG." Right. From all of all their combos in 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 the lineup to everything, they weren't just out in terms of effort. They was always there. So PSG, incredible first run here, and I think for the PS PCS is something you can hang your hat on. You can come back next year and you can say, 
right. First year, we didn't embarrass ourselves. Yeah. Now let's get a team into the top eight because that's the next step. If you can get another, if you can get a PCS team into the top eight, that just that rejuvenates the entire region and it excites that region. So I'm looking forward to 2021 and PCS. Well, maybe 2021 will be the year the PCS do make it to the top eight. I can tell you in our ESPN Esports League of Legends predictor, mm -hmm. I have finally cracked the top 1,000. Thank wow. goodness I have made it. Congratulations. If you go to ESPN.com slash League of Legends.